Hi everyone! Welcome back to Glow More Glow channel! This is one of the most exciting part for me. Waffles in Belgium, pizza and pasta in Italy, paella in Spain, pad thai in Thailand, argan oil in Morocco, skincare in Korea. Why not? You deserve it because you're gonna work hard for it, right? Today's episode is all about food and shopping. vlog, the meal allowance is paid for by the company and they actually gave it to you together with your other salary. So you have the choice however you want to spend it or you can just save it for yourself. For me, it was more than enough. I was not eating in expensive restaurants so there's always extra for me for shopping. And may I just remind that this was the allowance rate before the pandemic. So how do they base the meal allowance? It will depend on the hotel rate of that city or that country and of course the duration of your layover. The longer the layover, the bigger the meal allowance. For me, I don't like to be so stiff with my food expenses. Um, I want to eat good food. I want to enjoy the food in that city. And at the end of the day, you know, it's the only reward that I could give myself after a long flight. So what are my favorite destinations when it comes to food? Of course, it depends on your preference. But for me, I love Belgium because I'm a dessert person. I like waffles. I love ice cream, chocolate. Also, I love Italy. Pizza, pasta, of course. He won't stay in Florence. Japan for sushi, sashimi, ramen. Actually, a lot more. But those are my top three. So trying different food. I do try different food especially when I'm new to the city but I just have to make sure that it's clean and it's well prepared. I don't want to be sick because it's so hassle to be sick on your layover. I do have my medicine kit so in case you know I'm not too adventurous with exotic food. I always have to think that you know I'm working and I have to get back to Doha the next day so I cannot risk trying different foods just like that in hotels you know for me as much as possible I would like to eat out and see the city more but other times also we land in the night you know I get hungry in the middle of my sleep it's crazy and it's so weird but yeah it happens the only solution for me is to call the room service or also pagka I don't have much time to go out and in a few minutes, it's gonna be my pickup time. Of course, I just order room service so I could eat before the flight. It's nice, um, but it's not the best. For me, it's fine. This is our favorite bonding time. And it's easier if you are with a group who has the same taste like you. For me, if I'm with a Filipino crew, usually we look for rice. <laughs> But if there's no rice, it's okay. We can adjust and we can look for other food. I remember I was in Prague and I was with this Filipina group, you know. It was so cold. It was 8 a.m. in the morning. And that was the first time that I drank that early. I had whiskey and punch in the morning for breakfast. <laughs> other times, I don't really drink. Unless, of course, it's just a glass of wine together with a steak or a pasta or a pizza. But that's it. I drink, okay? I really drink but not in layover. I drink in my personal time. <laughs> Baka magalit yung mga friends ko sa akin. They will say, Ah, oh, you're lying in your vlog. Ah, what? You're not drinking. <laughs> Bringing food in your layovers. For me, this is okay. I bring cookies. I bring crackers. Something small. So when I wake up in the middle of the night, I told you I'm always waking up in the middle of the night and I get hungry. So I just have something small. You know, get whatever is in my luggage. But I just have to remind you to be careful because especially with groups, some destinations, especially Australia, I flew with one crew and we landed in Sydney airport and you know, random check of her luggage and he found out an apple. So it was a huge find. 
just be careful with that. Food you are taking with you back to Doha. It's okay, but don't bring in pork. They are very strict with that. If you want to do your shopping outside, especially in layovers where you could easily get nice food and take it home with you in your flat, it's okay. But pork products, um, don't risk it. Let's go shopping! Of course, this is from your own pocket nut. Let's just take note that all of us have different standings and responsibilities in life. Other people, it's more important for them to save up than to shop and others are not just really into shopping. For me, I save up but I also shop for myself and get little things along the way. <laughs> Everything in moderation and also it's my stress reliever. So for me, I only shop when I need something but I need a lot of things. <laughs> Yeah, but I only shop when it's on sale. Otherwise, it's so pointless to shop abroad. For what? If it's the same price, diba? So I only shop when it's on sale and when it's opposite season. Let's say it's winter in Europe and then yung mga summer clothes nila are on sale, then I get it. I don't care if it's the past season, you know? For me, if it fits me, yes, of course, I get it. I love outlet shopping in US. I love skincare shopping in Korea. I remember, you know, I went back to my Doha base and oh my gosh, my luggage was so full of face masks and it was so heavy. Um, I love grocery shopping in Japan because I get to hoard for matcha. I'm a matcha lover. Tea, chocolate, or cookies, crackers, everything matcha. Also, I do shop in places na that product is unique to that place, you know? Like facial mist or soap or perfume. Bulgaria is so famous for that. Argan oil in Morocco, of course. My luggage is always full of argan oil, argan scrub, argan hair products and everything. I love my Zanzibar plates. I went to Africa and I bought plate so I could you know display it in my future home but it was um, with my mom na since I left for Qatar Airways and I left it at home ayo siya na ibalik sa akin na yon <laughs> so now yung mga Moroccan plates ko I kept it already with my boyfriend's place kasi ayo na ibalik sa akin ng mom ko whatever is in the house everything in moderation I'm not really an impulsive Buyer. <laughs> Parang hindi totoo yung sinasabi ko kasi nabumulo ko sa impulsive. I'm not a, I'm not an impulsive buyer. I'm not really spending much when I'm in Doha. Let's say uh, I don't even go out too much because it's expensive to go out in Doha. I cook my own food or sometimes lang ako papa deliver when I really don't have time anymore to cook. I'm very low maintenance when it comes to my self. Like I don't really go to salon, I paint my own nails, but I do spend for some things like the makeup, the skincare. I do get expensive stuff only when I feel like I've already hit my target goal ng savings ko or when I achieve something, like when I got promoted to first class business class, then I got a bag for me. That's the only thing, you know? Happy lang. <laughs> Pasabay. Yeah, this will happen a lot of times with you because, of course, you have, you know, access in all the places or most places, especially if it's cheaper abroad. Like, I remember when my sister asked me to get something for her and I was in Germany so I was able to get it for her yes it was cheaper because there was a tax refund and then the next month I had US flight so I was able to give it to her or some of my friends in Philippines asking you know to get something for them in US I get it in US and then the next month that I have Manila flight I bring it with me so it's like you shopping on the other end of the world and you deliver it on the other end of the world. It's gonna be easier for you. You just have to wait for the flights that you need and yeah, shop. Shop till you drop. You will have unlimited access to food and shopping. But of course, limited funds. 
So really, discipline is the key. If you're someone who loves to shop, be mindful of your expenses because temptation will always be around. You know, there will be a lot of nice things, nice food. You know, flying is not forever. This is what I always have to remind everyone. And you would like to end your career with some savings and investments, right? So just discipline talaga. There you go. I hope that you enjoyed my little chit chat about the food and the shopping. This is just based on my own experience and my own understanding. If you have suggestion or question, you may comment down below. And I hope that you could like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Remember, you glow just by being you. Thank you. Bye-bye. I think magagalit siya pag sinabi ko na hindi niya binalik yung mga plates ko from Africa. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. For me, if it's kasha to me, then why? Ay, ang konyo. If it fits me.